you guys what we're looking at. Um, basically, what you're going to come do is come down to your start menu, and right here, you're going to type in CMD. Now, this will bring up your command prompt. You can push enter down here, or you can select it. <clears throat> When you get to this point, you want to type in IPCONFIG forward slash all and enter. When you finish that, it'll give you all of these options showing your different forms of internets and whatnot. Uh, you'll come up here and find the default gateway number, which from what I told you earlier, it should be the same exact number as uh, your DNS. Um, you want to save this number, write it down, because you're going to be using it in a moment to find your uh, router setup. So what you're going to come do next is come down to your start menu and go to your, bring up your internet, whatever. Uh, and up here you're going to type that number in. In your search bar, type the number in. Now it'll ask you for a username and password. Mine is, I'm not gonna tell you what my password is, but obviously. So if you have a PlayStation on, it'll show it over here. So you can look at that. And mine is the 10.0.0.3 right here. See, it's the exact same number that I showed you earlier and that's that's what I wanted to make sure of that lets you understand. <clears throat> so what you're going to want to do next is go to uh, advanced and you go to advanced setup. Now this is for a Netgear router so I mean it can vary but it should be about the same for yours. So in your advanced setup it should have a menu saying port forwarding and port triggering. Alright as you can see I already have mine set up, but I want to go ahead and show you guys and girls what I did for these. So what you're going to do is you're going to come down here. Well, I'll get to that in a minute. I'm going to show you guys how I got these numbers. Uh, actually, I'll just go to a custom service and show you guys what to do. For those of you that <coughs> understand how I got the numbers and I'll show you guys the, the defaults for Xbox and PlayStation setup so what you're gonna wanna do here is go to your service name it doesn't really matter what you name it but I always try to name mine what it's used for PlayStation uh, forwarding I don't, I don't know so do that and you're gonna type in your external starting and ending ports. Now what this does is it opens up the specific ports as that is used for your PlayStation and or Xbox and here's a list of those. See how it's uh, the first number is 80? So I don't have a second number so I'm not going to add a secondary number there. Uh, this is for PS3 so if you want you can pause the video and go ahead and write these in. So it's 80 and I didn't have a second number so I'm just going to write 80 starting and 80 ending. So it's just the 80th port uh, out of the 65,535 total. Uh, and then with the internal IP address you want your PlayStation or Xbox internal IP address. The one that I showed you earlier which mine was 3. Uh, if you need to, it's the number I had you write down, the IP address for your console. So once you do that, you push apply. And TCP, UDP is what you should use. It's you know, just make it easier. Um, and apply. And it'll say I already have that because you know, I've already made these previously. So I'm going to give you another example of ones that don't just have the single number which is like these right there through uh, 3478 through 3479 
and 100,070 through 100,080. So what you're going to want to do with those is I'll search out with this one. You're going to write 3478 through 3479. So I write those in and uh, type in your three or you can just select it if you have it on and you know for a fact but it's not gonna be three for everyone obviously um, <clears throat> and then apply after you after you name it um, give it a second to load and I'll give you another example of the other one that you'll have to use. If you're using Xbox Live and that's what you're doing your port forwards for, you're not going to need this <clears throat> because all of those have a single number that you type in twice. So with the 100,078 or 70, my bad, through 100,080. You just type those in. And you type in the final number to your IP on your console and apply. So that is it for your port forwarding. For those of you, uh, <clears throat> you're going to want to write all of these out. Make sure you do each and every one of them. Uh, this is your complete PlayStation setup, and I'll let it sit for a second so you can pause the video and get the numbers you need. <clears throat> um, so yeah, just go ahead and pause your video and type in all of those numbers. That's for PlayStation. Now these are for Xbox. This is your Xbox port forwarding setup numbers. Now if you're playing PC games, those have different numbers, but... I'm only doing a console version right now. I may do a PC version in the future. <clears throat> so what you're doing is automatically keeping these ports open forever. That way, PlayStation, when they're trying to access you, they don't have to open your port every time they're trying to get in. So it gives a better connection speed to the PlayStation Network and uh, Microsoft Xbox Network. So as I was saying, this is your Xbox setup. I don't have it because I'm not, I don't play Xbox uh, at my house anyways. Um, so when you finish that, I'll go ahead and show you guys how I got this, these numbers. Uh, and granted, this is only for a Netgear system. Now, it may be the same for others, but this is Netgear. And I know Netgear is a very popular uh, Walmart brand uh, router, so... That's how I got that. Now, how I got these numbers is um, port forward. I can't type today. Dot com. So you go there and type in your router name. Mine's a Netgear, and you can find your router name right here. It'll say Netgear or whatever, and it, and it says um, the type. Now. Mine will cut off right here at the 3700. The V3 is just, I, I don't know if it's just updates or what, but Port Forward does not have that. You're going to scroll down, it's going to be your first option. So you're going to go through here and find out and, and click, find your brand and then click it. Mine's WNDR3700. So I go down to the, the W's. WNDR3700. All right. And now it gives options for what I want to open. So I'm going to try to find, we'll just go with Xbox. Wow. Hold on, I'll just go ahead and show you guys both. Okay, we're on the PS3. So you're going to look at uh, PlayStation Network. And as you'll see, these are the same numbers all the way through 80, 443. If you, if you don't believe me, you can go back and pause your videos on those points. Um, to, to open up singular games, there are different numbers, but this, will, this sh should be a setup for all PS3 games, as well as Xbox. We'll back out and go down and find Xbox. Uh, 
when you get to the X's, it's the tenth down on the left side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Xbox Live 360. So you're going to come down here and find that it is your ports that need to be opened. And it keeps this one blank. I mean, this is this is a common IP address, but it's not going to be yours. Yours will be uh, the final numbers. It'll have these already set up for you. You just need to type in the final uh, device that's being used by your router there. So that is how you get port forwarding. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If it helped you, please subscribe. I'll try to put out more um, more helpful videos with tech stuff and gaming down the road. But uh, have a nice day, ladies.